so freaking awesome. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? All right, guys, today is the day we are finishing this truck camper build. Well, maybe tomorrow, but we're gonna get it done in this video. So in the last video, I got the solar panel installed. In that video, I went through this hole with the wiring, but I realized once I push in this cabinet, that is going to be in the way. So I then moved it over to this hole here, and now it won't be in the way. So here is the cabinet. We have quite a bit of stuff to do to get this ready and done. So we're gonna have a sink. So we're gonna need water runoff, I was gonna do a gray tank, but I got like four days to finish this and then be in Missouri. So it's not much time. So what for now, what I'm gonna do is just drill a hole through here, through the bottom, drill a hole in the truck, and then run this PVC pipe straight through the bottom of the truck. And then the water will run at the bottom of the truck. You can do this in a bunch of campsites. It is allowed, but there is some campsites where it's not allowed. So you gotta make sure you're in a safe spot to do it where it's allowed. But here is the drain to the sink. So the sink came with this part. I went to Ace Hardware and bought this attachment here. It clamps up here to the sink drain. And then the bottom of that is smaller and that clamps to the PVC pipe. So this is going to get dropped in here. And then I need to drill out the hole right here. Already marked it. And then drill the same hole in the truck. Perfect. I could hook up a tank outside the truck if I'm ever in a spot where I can't dump it to the ground. So that'd be kind of cool. All right, so I just went ahead and got the faucet installed to the countertop here. It's probably gonna have to come off, but I want to get the other stuff installed around it. I need to put this soap dispenser here. So there is the soap. Now we need the on off switch for the water pump. Speaking of the water pump. So this is a little pump I got off of Amazon. This was like 50 bucks, but I wanted a pump that can drop down into my water jugs that I'm using. And this will drop down there perfectly like that. And then that will sit inside the water jug. I do need to connect a hose to this end. And then that hose will run to the faucet and down here. So this is going to be my on off switch for the water pump. So I'll flip it on. That will bring water from the jug over to the faucet. And then I will have to open this to open the faucet for water to come out. So off camera, I am just getting all this wiring done for the water pump. Got that attached there. And I decided to put the on off switch here. That way the on off switch to the pump is here. And then to turn the water on is also right here. She's in the same spot, so let's go ahead and get this hole drilled for this and then we can solder these wires together. Alright, so I got the water pump wiring all done. Here is the on off switch. I'll kind of go over everything once again, but I'm going to go ahead and push this in. Make sure it's straight. Okay, so now the on off button is in place. That is not coming out, <laughs> which is bad because I still want to paint all this wood or stain it. And that might be an issue around there. I may be able to force it out. I don't know, we'll see. But this turns on the water pump. But we got that plugged in back here to the battery. But to mock it up, I filled up this bowl of water, here's the water pump. So this water pump will actually drop into the water jugs, but to show y'all how this works, I'm gonna drop it into this bowl of water. So if we want to turn on the sink, we will have to hit the on button here. So let's go ahead and turn this on. So that turns on the pump. As you can see, it's pumping water. As you can see, it's a pretty good, pretty good flow. Oh, I'm losing water over here. Let's turn it back off. So where that water was just shooting out from here, there will be a hose running to the water faucet hose. And that is how the water will get from 
the jugs over there to the faucet. And it is super simple. I mean, it's that easy. It's done. We just have to get this in place and then we can run all the wires to the right place. This also has an adapter where water cannot go back in the jug. Oh, it's right here. Now what I need to do is make the doors. I'm gonna go ahead and get this face piece cut out. We got half inch sheet of plywood right here for that. So I cut out this door here, and then I added this piece here, and that is how I'm going to attach the hinges to the door. Yes. I also went and picked up some double roller locks. So I'm also going to go ahead and attach that and that will keep the door shut. And yes, I'm drilling all the way through. I can fix those holes with wood putty. The screw sticks through a little bit as well, so I need to uh, grind that or shave that down. Oh yeah. I got the second one installed. And she is nice and tight, baby. Heck yes. Feels good. All right, so there's the first door. All right, so I got the catches on in this top drawer. It's not as tight as I would like it to be, but it's still decent, good enough. Now I just need to cut out these doors and then install the catches. All right, guys, there it is. We got all the hinges and catches on, and these little screws absolutely sucked. They kept stripping out on me. That was the worst part of this build. Horrible, completely horrible, and I'm happy it's done. I still need to paint this and, you know, like waterproof it and whatnot, but I don't have time. I have a trip in two or three days, and I'm just gonna rock it like this for this first trip, and once we get back, we will paint it and seal this wood. Yep, I'm not even gonna glue the uh, sink in just yet because we have to paint it. So I'm just gonna rock it with it just sitting in there. It is pretty tight, it won't like bounce out or anything. I'm so over this build, guys. I'm not even, those screws, it just, it, I'm done. I'm done, I hate it. <laughs> I'm so happy all the projects are done and we can go fishing. Ah, man, man oh man. So I know for a fact this door won't open all the way, but it will open enough for me to get the water jugs in. These doors might open up all the way, not too sure, but. So this is the water jug storage. We'll have 12 gallons of water in here. And then this is just any extra storage that I wanna throw in here. I still need to wrap all this wiring back around and get the water pump over to here. But these catches are actually pretty dope. I like them. They're just a pain in the butt to install with those tiny little screws. I'm going to get all the water stuff connected and then next time you see it, it will be in the truck. So I got everything in the truck. I will show y'all in the morning, but I wanna do a test. I wanna see how much power this icebox uses overnight. So. We have a fully charged battery, 100%. So this says it can run it for 21 hours, 22 hours. So it should still be running in the morning. But the thing is with this ice box is it turns off every 10 minutes. It will turn on 10 minutes, turn off 10 minutes, turn on 10 minutes. And this battery, it doesn't know that it's gonna turn off, right? It's not that smart. Does that mean that this battery can run for 44 hours since it turns off every 10 minutes? It'll only be charging for half the time. So that's what I wanna figure out. 
So I'm gonna leave this on tonight. Leave the ice box running on tonight. Before I put any food in here, I wanna make sure this battery won't die overnight. It shouldn't, I mean, 22 hours. I can leave it running until tomorrow night. I already know that based off this, but. But here it is guys, it looks freaking awesome. I said I was over building this thing, and I was, but now that it's in the truck, all those words are gone, dude. Like, it's so sick. Looks amazing. I did take out the mattress. It's right over here. I bought a new sheet and a new pillow, pillowcase, all that good stuff for it. So I'm gonna put that on. But I'm gonna do that in the morning. We are not done. We still have to bolt this down to the truck, and then I also need to run the PVC pipe back to over here so the water drops right here on the ground and not directly on the axle. But then once we do that, get the mattress back in here, we are done, baby. But I will do all that in the morning. Ah, oh, so sick, dude. I am so freaking stoked with how good this came out. We have a sink, a mini fridge. You guys have no idea. I cannot freaking wait to do my first catch and cook in here. It's gonna be so freaking awesome. Freaking stoked. Oh, baby. Dude, I cannot freaking wait. Look at that stove. So sick. Dude, I'm doing a catch and cook on this trip. I don't care what it is. If it's a bluegill, we're cooking it. Absolutely amazing. I will show you guys this finish tomorrow. The solar panel is not plugged in, so that is good. We're doing a full test to see how much power we use. The battery will not be charged by the solar panel because it's not plugged in right now. So, 100% tonight. Let's see where we're at tomorrow morning. And we are down to 77%. So we use 23%. It's not bad at all. And I bet if the solar panel was plugged in, it'd already be charged back up. I'm gonna turn it into five. Get her a little bit colder. So I am comfortable with leaving food in the fridge all night long. I'm filling the jugs up. It costs a dollar for five gallons. This is a six gallon tank, but I could add 25 cents and make it one more gallon. I'd probably do that actually to fill them up. But we're gonna fill up these jugs with water and then run the sink for the first time. See how she does. All right, so we got the water jugs full and this is the first time ever running water to the faucet. Let's see if it works. Turn on the pump, open this up. Oh yeah, freaking epic. So this says that this pauses the water. Oh, you have to hold it, that's kind of lame. Dude, so freaking awesome. Okay, that is sick. I'm gonna try to open this and then run outside and see. I'll show y'all where it leaks out. Really fast. <laughs> Okay, so there is the pipe. As you can see, it does not hit anything. It was dropping right over the axle, but I put a elbow in there and then it comes over here and drops right here. Freaking awesome. Everything works like it should. Let's go add the mattress and we are done. All right, so here is the finished product. It looks freaking awesome, dude. I'm so stoked with how it came out. I was driving around, I was testing to make sure nothing tipped over. It's all bolted down. The refrigerator's bolted down, nothing tipped at all. It is awesome. Got the mattress back on there, looking good. I do need to go get another sleeping bag or a blanket for this, but we'll go to Walmart, get a few things we need. Stock the fridge, get some uh, foods that don't need to be in the refrigerator down in the drawer below it. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this truck camping build series. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to enjoy the crap out of using the truck camper. I'm going to use it every chance I get. And I have a trip coming up in two days to Springfield, Missouri, to the Bass Pro Shops Fishing Fair, one of the biggest fishing fairs ever. So uh, it's going to be awesome. There's going to be concerts, Luke Bryan, Luke Combs, Dirks Bentley, a bunch of other people performing, and also Do Perfect is gonna be there. That's freaking awesome. And a whole bunch of fishing pros. So if you guys are going, if you see me, say what's up. I'm gonna be there all five days, so I'm excited. Gonna hit the road, use the truck camper, and check out a whole bunch of fishing gear. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.